Welcome back, everybody. Your three-man booth, NFL Week 12, Thanksgiving week. It's kind of the happiest week of the NFL season. Dan Sale and Phil and Bud. We're going to have ATS picks, but we got two big news here. Uh, Jason Garrett has been let go by the Giants. Phil, your thoughts? I thought 26 games too late. I hated the hiring from the start. I had to deal with it. I, I, full disclosure, I never liked the hiring. You got the Cowboys stink out of the building. <laughs> oh, I never liked that hiring. So it, the Hold offensive on. Hold on. Did you see Brady the last The offensive week? coordinator's fault, not the quarterback, who continues to fumble and make interceptions. Do you know he th- he literally threw the ball to McClendon? And just fold the franchise. It's over. And and the other topic I want to touch on after a picks, but the Jets – didn't look great with Joe Flacco. I'm not sure that's an exception or <laughs> surprise there. Um, but you were ready to just kick in the television when they blew the game versus the Dolphins. I didn't watch much of it because it was so unwatchable. And this goes back to the debate that we had last week. What were you trying to prove with Joe Flacco? Why you, you mean to tell me that Mike White couldn't have done that? That was a winnable game. You chose to not win it. Yeah, and that's what that maybe this is what tanking looks like. But we'll hold that thought. I want I want I want our picks for week twelve. Full disclosure, these uh these lines are tough. So I'm going I'm scrolling through all these. I don't I don't like a lot of them, but I'm taking the Chargers. I'm taking my boy Austin Eckler. They're they're going into Denver. They're they're only laying two and a half. Then I'm just gonna go against Cleveland because Cleveland there's the wheels have fallen completely fallen off. It's it's everyone thought trading Beckham was was the you know was going to uh, addition by subtraction. No, that's not the case. The, the Lions should have beaten the Browns last week. Should have, but they didn't. Uh, give me Baltimore minus three and a half against Cleveland. But who you got for week 12? Uh, I'm picking against the Jets because Jets absolutely are uh, an abomination of, of football. Um, I, and, and I'm picking against them against Houston. And Houston is trying to lose. And then I am going to pick uh, – who did I pick? Oh, I'm going to pick Detroit over Chicago. I think Detroit has been close. I think they are, um, they're not good at all. Um, but I do think the bears are not good either. And somebody's going to have to win this football game. Now they, they could end in a tie, but I'm going with Detroit. I mean, it's Thanksgiving. It's their, it's their holiday. I'm going to go with two teams getting points this week. The Colts are getting three points against the Buccaneers. That Colts team, defense and running game are dominating. They'll slow down Tampa Bay, who does not have a running game, and their defense is good. But I don't. I mean, they're not overly impressive. I, I can't count their defeat of the lowly Giants as a good victory. Whereas the Colts are just showing people up. And then I'm also going to take three points with the Vikings over the 49ers. This to me is an in and an out playoff team. I think that Minnesota can push their way in. They've been playing a lot better. 49ers are getting by, but I mean, they, if they beat, they beat the Vikings, then it proves something. I don't see it happening, but I'm going to take the points. Minnesota's getting them anyways. All right. I want to jump back into this tanking debate because both of our teams are in a position to do so. I'm not sure the jets have been actively tanking, but they definitely are not playing to win. Like they are not setting themselves up in the optimal position to win. Now they have a lot of injuries. They got a lot of, unknowns and they got two top 10 picks coming their way the giants might also but, but they have to they like, have to because they they get the bears pick so they absolutely are gonna have to yes yeah, so both of our teams are up for two top 10 picks what did they have any incentive the to win more have two top five picks at this point yeah who's it who'd they get it from seattle 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 right why is Taysom hill getting a four-year 100 million dollar extension because he's great running three or four plays a game to get in the end A <laughs> hundred million dollars for four years. Now, granted, a lot of that is he has to actually be the quarterback to get, you know, the full yeah. amount. That's, I mean, I, I text Bud before I said, that's, he's the richest gadget player in the history of NFL. So, so what do they think they're going to bring in to compliment him? Because he can't do it himself. I have no idea. They yeah, but you know money. what? Football contracts are not guaranteed, and you know that. I mean, how much of, how much of his contract is guaranteed? No, but that uh, agreed. But just the fact that they that's out there. Well, we talked about. I want to I want to circle back to tanking because I mean, we're at the point of the season where you have to make this decision. New Orleans is obviously in the playoff push, right? But the Giants and the Jets are out of it. What what? The Jets have to start Zach Wilson. They want to start Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson should give them the best chance to play and win. They didn't make that choice last week. 
they don't have a choice this week because their other two quarterbacks are in the COVID protocol anyways. I'm just, I'm torn up. I mean, Michael Carter's now out hurt, but Elijah Moore's coming on. There's a lot of positives from our rookies this year, but. I am, I am a believer in Joe Douglas, but at this point, do you have any confidence that he can make the right picks? I do. I'm very happy. You, I, 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 so I have to set aside the injuries. I'm very happy with the player's performance. I mean, he's, he's hit enough on these guys. Where's Dude, they're, they're two and eight. It doesn't matter the record. It's you got to you, you can't look at the record. I agree with you. But they are not coached well. They are not well put together. Their backups are terrible. There's no depth. They are terrible on the defensive side of the ball. And this is surprising coming from a defensive coach. May I, may, may, I, may, may I interrupt you for a second? Because yeah. You're, you're stating true statements in terms of the statistics of this team this year. But if we're simply talking about developing young players to be good enough to slot in more good players this offseason and be a good team next year and the year after, these young players, there's these guys that shouldn't be this good and are playing really well. Elijah Moore just had, was the best. I mean, in a game that they absolutely sucked, he had the best rookie performance of the weekend. But this is what you want before the team doesn't suck because you need this. You need that core. If this is the core – like we're in a completely different boat than the Giants, but but we both suck. They're just it's the same garbage every single year. It's undisciplined football. It's uh, poor clock management. You, you come off of a TV timeout, and then you gotta call, you gotta call a timeout because you're gonna get a delay a game penalty when you have to blow two timeouts within the first five minutes of the third quarter. There's no way you're going to win. You want to know why? Because you're not set up on the back half of the game. You, you, you really hammer on like Andy Reid, who has never gotten his clock management right because he's a veteran coach. These are rookie coaches. I chose not to watch the Jets this season, so I'm taking a bigger picture perspective. It's all an optical illusion. It is. It is. I agree. You know, I, I sat here and I watched the game, and I can tell you that the only reason why this game wasn't more is because Tua sucks. The Dolphins are really a bad football team. Tua, Tua has no arm strength. So the Dolphins need a new quarterback. I got to turn this over to the Giants before, before we go off on a too long of a Jets tangent. Phil, I know you're relieved that you got rid of your offensive coordinator, but do the Giants need a new quarterback? How do you feel as a fan? Do they need a new quarterback? Thankfully, us Jets hey, do not. <laughs> listen. If Russell Wilson, as we were talking about before, is going to be available, if Aaron Rodgers is, is, wants to come to New York, I'm all for it. Do you want Nick Foles over Daniel Jones? No, 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 no. Stop no? it. No. Right, what about Garoppolo? No, no, no. San Francisco doesn't even want Garoppolo. I mean, so if you could have, there's maybe there's pictures. maybe five there's maybe five really good quarterbacks in the league. Everybody else is. I'm just putting it out there. Is Daniel Jones claim to fame that he never won in prime time? Because this is the case, and he's trending like this is going to be the – I don't think he's going to have a starting job after the season. So he's going to be winless in prime time. I don't see how they can possibly keep him. They're going to have two top ten picks. They're going to take a quarterback. He's done. I mean, Who, though? Who? Who's coming out of college? It doesn't matter. Anybody's going to be better than this guy that's proven he can't make it. Like, that's the problem. He keeps proving that he, he can't get better. He doesn't if they don't fix that take... offensive line, if they don't fix that offensive line, they can have Tom Brady back there, and he's going to get his ass kicked. So it really doesn't matter. Unless you could take one of those first round picks and trade it to Seattle for Russell Wilson. Do it tomorrow. The Giants are deep in problems. Their their running back is a ghost. The, he's a shell of himself of what he used to be. They signed Galladay. He doesn't even get looks. Um their defense their defense is not getting any pressure on the quarterback. Tom nope. Brady yesterday nope. could have done push ups, jumping jacks. He could have taken a nap. And he would have had he, enough time to still what, get up and still throw the football. What he, rushed for, back he rushed for 10 yards. Did you see that? He looked like he was 25. Oh, hold on, hold on. He 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 made a correction. It was 11. It was 11. Oh, 11, yeah. All right. <laughs> but I think that was the longest rush of the year. This all comes back to the offensive and defensive lines. I mean, that's why I like Joe Douglas because he says you got to build those things first. I mean, he, whether or not he's doing it successfully is up for debate, but you got to build those. The Giants haven't done that well, and everybody, their skill players is hurting. 
because of it, it's really holding them back. Yeah, it's it's until you get that fixed, it's going to be like this again and again and again. Well, thank God for Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving football. Yeah, that's yeah, no, no kidding. We'll be in, we'll be in a we'll be in a food coma by seven thirty. Thank <laughs> you.